right, so this is going to be part one of a four-part video series on generating your first sale. So we're going to call it the zero to a first sale series. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing is running through the process of creating a small store and then seeing if I can generate a first sale or even a couple sales live on recording. So what I'm going to do is just pretty much record the basic process of creating a store and then generating the first sale so this isn't going to be like a 20 30 hour long in-depth series this is just going to be a basic skeleton of the foundations and basic com components that you need to do to generate your first sale so it's going to be rather beginner friendly so part one is going to be on niche research so niche research uh, this this video isn't actually going to be showing you how to think of niches because that's actually relatively simple because you just need to do some simple brainstorming or you can employ the tactics that we went over in the video on the channel that shows you how to spy on other people's stores and check out their best-selling products and use those for niche ideas or product ideas so this video is actually going to be how you can confirm a niche. So how you can confirm a niche is actually good and that you should go into it. So as I said, I'm going to be using a live example throughout this four part series. So in this case, I've already selected a niche and it's going to be LED products. So LED shoes, LED sunglasses, LED gloves and things like that. And my target audience is going to be people that listen to EDM, dance music, and attend the raves and sh dance shows like that. And the reason I'm going into this niche is because I get targeted with these type of products rather often on Facebook. And that's because I listen to dance music, so I'm assuming that's why I'm getting targeted. But since I see these products so often on Facebook, I'm assuming that they are probably a relatively good niche to go into so what I'm going to do in this video is try and confirm that this is a good niche and this is the same process that you can do when you are selecting a niche so ideally you'll have three or four niche ideas niche slash product ideas and what you'll do is you'll put them through the same exact process I'm about to show you and then you can select which one looks the best so with that being said we're going to go ahead and hop into the confirmation process of the niche so the first thing you want to do is just confirm that there are products for your niche on aliexpress now i'm pretty much i was already certain that there was products on aliexpress within this niche just because i was being targeted with them on facebook however if this is just something you th if your niche idea is something you thought of off the top of your head the first thing you want to do is confirm that there are products that you can sell in your store so you're gonna head over to Aliexpress and then you're just going to take a look at your products you can see I just typed in rave so there's some glow-in-the-dark gloves LED gloves there's LED sunglasses um, LED strobe wands for 87 cents and free shipping so these might be good for free plus shipping offers uh, grow our email list with that uh, more LED gloves, LED sticks, and let's see if there's LED shoes. And as you can see, there is. There's a lot of LED shoes. There's a lot of options. So there's a good amount of product variations within this niche. So now I know that I, at minimum, can sell five or six different products within this niche and a bunch of different variations of those products. So now that I know that there's a good amount of products I can sell within the niche, I'm going to move on to see and check the demand for these products. So the first place I'm going to check is watch count. And if you've seen any of our videos before, you know that we use watch count a lot. And what watch count is, is it just shows you the popularity of items on eBay. So how many people have bought an item and how many people have uh, actively been watching the item. So I'm just going to check one of the items in our niche here. So we're going to go with LED sunglasses. 
And as you can see here, here's some LED sunglasses, 115 watchers, almost 500 sales. Here's some more with 500 plus sales, 111 watchers. If we come down, there's 940 sales, 180, 229. So this isn't exactly the hottest selling item on eBay, but they are selling relatively well. And one important thing to keep in mind is that eBay is only one e-commerce uh, medium online. So it doesn't account for the entire market share although it's a very good it's a very good platform to use as like a barometer to know to judge how well an item may or may not sell but it's definitely not the be all end all so this is just one resource that you can use so typically you're going to be looking for numbers uh, over 1000 however these numbers are decent and they're enough to justify continuing continuing searching in the niche especially since I see a lot of these ads on Facebook so I assume that there are a lot of people or at least a few stores having success within the niche and these numbers do justify continuing niche research now I'm not going to continue and search every single LED product within watch count just for the sake of time for this video I don't want to get it to drag on too long so we're just gonna go off these numbers of LED sunglasses and the second thing you're gonna do when researching your niche is head over to Google Trends so what Google Trends does is it just shows uh, what's trending in regards to what's being searched in Google so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search LED shoes and I'm going to see how it's trending. Now why am I searching LED shoes over the other products? Uh, LED shoes seem to be the most expensive product within the niche so I want to see how well that's trending overall because that's probably going to be the biggest money maker. So LED shoes, you can see that this is a very good looking chart. And around mid 2015 it started massively uptrending so you can see as a whole uh, around the world of Google that is that LED shoes are uptrending a lot so this is the type of graph you're looking for you either want to see an uptrend or at least a stable stability so something that has a lot of interest and the interest hasn't gone down if you see that the interest is going actively down on something like if this chart was flip-flop the other way then it's probably not a good niche to get into so this is a very good looking chart when you're looking for stuff in Google Trends so this niche is looking pretty solid so far and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna confirm by going into um, keywords explorer of Ahrefs and what this does is it just shows the search volume of certain searches within Google so how many times a certain search phrase or keyword is getting searched in Google every month and Ahrefs uh, is paid it's a paid membership but if you don't want to pay you can go to semrush.com or use the Google Keyword Planner however I believe for the Keyword Planner you have to have an active campaign an active AdWords campaign an active AdWords campaign so you can just head over to semrush.com and you get about 10 free searches per day I believe but since I have an account at Ahrefs I'm just gonna go ahead and use this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for my product within Google to see if it's being searched for a lot because if it is then I know that the product is in relatively high demand which is another factor that will confirm that this is a good niche to go ahead and hop into and also the cool thing about this is if you find that your product is being searched for a lot on Google that's just another aspect you can target for getting sales so not only can you you know use Facebook ads and other means of paid advertising but you can also use SEO to rank your product in Google for these search terms to generate passive sales but that's for another video so just for the sake of this we're just gonna confirm to see if it has search volume to see if this is a in-demand product or niche so I'm gonna go ahead and check LED shoes again And you can see that globally it's being searched 67,000 times per month and in the United States it's being searched 34,000 times a month so these are really high numbers and then you can see related searches like light up shoes is getting searched 43,000 times a month LED light up shoes 5100 LED shoes for kids 1800 so LED shoes uh, in total if you add up all of these searches 
and all the smaller ones is probably getting searched around 100,000 times or more per month. So that's really good. So there's a lot of people that are searching for this type of product in Google, which means the demand for this product is relatively high. So with that being said, this niche is looking rather solid right now as it's looked good on all three of the mediums that we checked and there's a good amount of products on AliExpress that I can sell there's not just one there's a decent amount to where we can have some variety in our store so this niche looks pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with it for the remainder of the series and with that being said that's going to be it for this video and video 2 is actually going to be me setting up the actual store within Shopify so Stay tuned for that, subscribe if you are not, so that way you can view the remainder of the series. And with that being said, I will see you in part two.